you have to stay stage two tuned or can you just say stage tune? Get it? Two, un, tune. <laughs> Dad jokes for days. Right now it's all about that 07K life with the stage two tune. We stage tuned. I'm gonna make that a thing. Hashtag tuned. Hashtag. What's up guys? Welcome back to the garage um, or the cockpit of the Mark V Jetta. Um, we just did the install on the Stage 2 Integrated Engineering Manifold and uh, Tune on the 2.5 liter 5 cylinder. Um, so if you haven't checked those videos out, I'll leave links to those down in the description below. Um, I've got an install and then kind of a how to use their Flash Wizard software. Um, so definitely check that out and while you're at it, you might as well hit the subscribe button. Um, anyways, today we're taking the first drive in the car with the new setup on it. Um, now, I did kind of drive it slightly last night just to, you know, you got to make sure everything's functioning properly and, you know, working. Um, but I didn't really push the car, didn't really test the tune out in its fullest. Um, so, we are going to take a drive to work because it's the next day and I got to go to work. Um, but, get my initial thoughts on it. Hey guys, got a new merch store available with some hats, shirts, and other accessories. So if you want to pick up some cool swag and support the channel, go ahead and click that link in the description below. Alright, so a few things while we're sitting here in the driveway letting the engine come up to temperature. A um, few notes on the install itself. Um, if you're going to do this, I would say just go ahead and buy the power kit that comes with their intake, their intake manifold, the software, all that stuff. Um, it is going to make your life and your install a lot easier. Um, I had talked to Integrated Engineering before all this, um, and what they're what they're going to tell you is they can't guarantee fitment on any aftermarket intake other than their own, which obviously um, they're not going to test all of them on their manifold. Um, the way I would word it is use their intake. Um, fitment won't work on any other. <laughs> um, even with a standard short ram intake, you're gonna run into clearance issues because it does slightly move the throttle body um, position. So any standard intake's gonna be shifted and you know it's just not gonna fit. Um, other than that, the install, I mean, the install is pretty straightforward. Um, the one bolt under the third runner is really kind of a pain. Um, it's just that's engineering on Volkswagen's part just putting the mounting bolt there they could have offset it a little bit and made it work even on the the stock intake they had to have a shoot through the runner where you put your wrench and your extension drive um, but other than that I mean the install went pretty straightforward I did have to since I have the vacuum pump delete from spooling I did have to adapt my uh, PCV uh, vacuum line and which is also teed off to the the brake um, for vacuum for the power brakes um so i had to i had to kind of find come up with an adapter for that to get it hooked up to the manifold um and then right now since i don't have the integrated engineering intake i am just running the cone filter right off the throttle body i know don't judge me um integrated won't sell it to you separately from everything i've talked to them about but ecs for some reason does offer it separate so i don't know if it's something they're just offering through their third party uh, distributors as a separate deal um, it's a 400 dollars intake but if i do that with just the manifold that i did and then the upgrade pricing on the software i am still cheaper than buying the power bundle so that'll be a, that'll be a future deal um, i'll get that intake and then everything will be kind of buttoned up and i, I want to go catch can and a bunch of other stuff so subscribe because there's a lot more stuff coming on the channel um, anyways let's put her in gear drive her and uh, see how she feels You have to stay stage two tuned, or can you just say stage tune? Get it? Two, un, tune. <laughs> Dad jokes for days. And this is the only camera I have going right now, so you get a look at my ugly mug the whole video. You're welcome. Coming up to the freeway, we'll do a little pull here, see how first and second, or second and third feel anyway. Definitely crackles a lot more than the stage one. That is nice. That feels 
good. Definitely more power. Would have noticed it a lot more if I had gone from stage zero or factory tune to stage two. Uh, but I was already running the stage one tune, so definitely feels better than the stage one for sure. Um, seems to carry it even more up to the top end. So that's nice. Uh, the stage one over the OEM did that a lot more too. Um, so this just amplifies it basically. Um, and you get a little bit more of that uh, intake noise on the new manifold. It's hard to hear it up there anyway just because I have a gutted exhaust on this so that's pretty much all I hear. Um, but a little bit more engine noise which is nice. I wanted a little bit more of that than just hearing straight exhaust all the time. Undercover? Yeah, undercover. And even just in fifth gear cruising down the highway when you got to give it a little gas to pass someone, get a little bit more oomph out of it. Hope the audio is okay. Just got my shotgun mic sitting on the camera here. I don't know. Is it weird that it feels better even just uh, cruising and maintaining the speed? It's weird, right? I'm not complaining, it's better. A lot of it just has to do with that extra power helping out in the long fifth gear that these manual transmissions have on the Mark V Jettas. If it was me, I would have put a six speed in it. I don't know what Volkswagen was thinking. You already had the transmission, just put it in it. Shifts feel good, which means it's good throttle response because you can match the res pretty easily. So, very similar to the stage one tune, good throttle response. A little extra crackly. Partial 
throttle feels a lot better. I don't know why I said even. Power is power, so if you have more power all around and you give it partial throttle, you're still going to have more power at that partial throttle than you did before at that same partial throttle. Only makes sense. Oh dear. Traffic. Definitely a little bit more engine noise up front. I like that. Makes me happy. Is it weird when you're driving your tuned car and the trucks always want to race you? What's up with that? Any car with an exhaust, trucks always want to race them. I don't get it. Got my drink. Nothing better than a fresh Sonic drink. If you live in a part of the country that doesn't have Sonics, man, you're missing out. Especially if you have the app downloaded. It's happy, happy hour all the time, half price drinks and everything. Dude, you gotta get on that, that gravy train. Right now it's all about that 07K life with the stage two tune. We stage tuned. I'm gonna make that a thing. Hashtag tuned. Hashtag. I just wanna brap it. I'm gonna be late to work. That's okay, it's fine. Nobody misses me anyway. drop off at all that thing would just hammer the red line at full power Woo. I mean I don't have any top end but first and second dang girl she's scooting so anytime you do a tune in a manifold it's a little pricey but this is worth it smiles per gallon baby smiles per gallon it's a fun time this is going to be a wicked nasty little canyon car now. You've probably seen some of my other videos driving through the canyons. This is going to be... Hold it in second gear and you got to have, have some torque coming out of the corners. She went real fun. Yeah, that just held power all the way to seven grand. That was... I didn't feel it taper off at all. It would start to taper off on the stage one tune a little bit after like 5500 OEM tune was just no high RPM at all. It was all mid range. This is just everywhere. Everywhere. Actually really curious what this would do in a quarter mile and what kind of numbers it would put down on the dyno. Super curious. Super curious. She likes to pop and bang and crackle. Snap, crackle, pop. Oh, this is going to be a fun video to edit. There's a lot of bicycles at the bus stop. Not that you could see. It's just simply pointing out there's a lot of bicycles at the bus stop. Too much traffic for fun in the streets of Mexico we like to go 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 all right well I'm almost to work and there's a bunch of traffic so I'm just gonna say that if you were thinking about going stage two on your five-cylinder 2.5 liter from Volkswagen I would do it it's definitely a fun time sounds good it looks better with that manifold on it so when you pop the hood you actually have a little bit of eye candy under there because all the stock stuff on that engine is nasty including the valve cover with the PCV valve that's gonna go billet one of these days with a catch can so smash that subscribe button smash that like button I hope you enjoyed the video um, I will do a more of a longer term review on this tune later on after I've driven the car for many miles and uh, gotten used to it with many smiles um, so yeah, thanks for watching integrated engineering stage two tune for the 2.5 liter five cylinder Volkswagen engine. Um, worth it. Do it. Get her done.
Peace out. Should I wrap it and let everyone at work know I'm here? Spicy.